Hi, wonderful people. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. You are all welcome as usual. Please, as you watch, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button and also the notification bell so that whenever I post new videos, you'll be notified. Thank you all and God bless you guys. So guys, um, about um, this um, police wahala that uh, Queen Naomi and Oni of Ife had before, that... Um, People that get that gave people bad impression about both Oni of Ife and Queen Naomi. Well, um, the father of Oni of Ife elaborated some things, and uh, you know he said things the way they 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 were. That um, the person that was arrested was um, Queen Naomi's brother because of people that he was owing. There's this pro there was some project he was he was handling for the owner of Ife. But he did not um finish that project and people he got materials from on credit were actually people that um came to arrest him. So when he got arrested, Queen Naomi went to bail her brother, but could not be given um adequate um you know, adequate um, distance, attention, and respect as a queen. She went there to be her brother as a, as um as an ordinary person, like not as a queen or for as a former wife of the owner of Ife, like how we say it. The way she was approached, they started making calls to the owner of Ife. Instead of her to bail her brother, the police IG started making calls to the on your ife that your wife is here not even asking her if she should make that call because queen naomi uh, herself has said that she is no longer want to be referred to as the wife of the owner of ife and she did not come to the police station to bail her her brother with the with the um with the acknowledgement of the only to or for him to be called before his brother will be bailed. So when the IG, the IG called the Oni of Ife that his wife, his uh, Olori is here to bail her brother, the conversation now turned to another thing. And um, one thing or led to led to the other. I think the Oni of Ife gave an instruction that the brother should not be released, which was what gave Queen Naomi so much annoyance that she said is it uh, if somebody is no longer interested in a marriage should the person be expected to commit suicide that what is the her business with her brother being detained and uh, not longer married to the owner of ife so the whole thing was what really happened it was the father of the owner of ife that elaborated these things and said um owner of ife has been um, looking for Queen Naomi's brother or a way to detain him to return the money he gave him for a project that he did not do. And um, the arrest was not initially made by the owner of Ife. It was from the people that the brother was owing. But the IG now went to complicate things by calling the owner of Ife to seek permission before he could release um, the brother of the of uh, Queen Naomi. Knowing fully well that... Um, uh, Oni and um, this family, they might have been having an issue because he, he must be on social media and he, he must be hearing things. So, Oni of Ife now used the opportunity that somebody else has done the arrest for him. He wanted to use it to hold um, Queen Naomi's brother or her family to a tight corner. That is what I was able to understand in this whole thing. So, for people that were saying that, um, Queen Naomi was ranting on social media, coming to social media to say one or two things. Before we judge or, be, or before we say something, we should first of all get a clear information about all these things. People that always say that any small thing, she will come to social media to table this one, one, one thing or the other. And I want to ask, is it because she is um, married to the owner of Ife or is it because of owner of Ife is a king? Then... If 
Excuse me, guys. If there was a kind of intimidation in one's life, the person should not talk because of only of Ife is involved. And this thing is not only applicable to the only of Ife. Why is it that when someone that is rich and influential do something and the oppressed complain, that means that person is ranting. Okay? Nobody is above the law. She was not comfortable with the way the IG called the police. And that matter has not yet been solved because they are still having issues up to now. Only of Ife is still fighting war with Queen Naomi up to now. From police case, from her brother embezzling money, from police case and for also child's custody. A lot of things are going on. So if we now may come to social media to lay complain when the water is uh, is almost about to get to her to her truth, if she rises up to to, to to the uh, social media where where people will hear about her and uh, lay her complain, people will start saying that she's a bad wife. That was why she left the Oni of Ife. Okay. So, so uh, people always have this mindset that it is a man's word. That even if a woman is oppressed in a relationship, she should still stay there. I don't believe in that thing. That is a man's word. Everybody has feeling. If you do something to anybody, the person feels it. Everybody feels pain. A woman is not a rock that does not feel pain. We are even the weaker vessel. But we are making it look as if even if, even if a 12 years old child got married to a, a 50 years old man, they will be expecting that 12 years old child to pamper that, that man. For what? So guys, I will bring more updates on this video. But we should learn, of, we should, we should learn to be our brass keeper and we should learn to talk with conscience. Thank you guys. See you on my next video. Bye-bye.